Hi and welcome to another video. I I know Valentine's just my favorite and I designed these cute little bees um, especially for Valentine and I just wanted to make a couple of projects to show you how they can be used. So I used my silhouette cameo to cut them out and also with this collection you can find four of these cute heart cut files and I'm going to use them on my little cards. So um, there's six little bees as you can see different designs and four of these um, heart flourishes that's perfect for Valentine. Okay so for my idea of this year's Valentine cards I decided to make it very very simple. And I know I always say that, but this year I truly did it. And this little bit of paint that I painted on the background of the cards is the only mixed media that I decided to use. And I wanted the little bees to be the center of attention. So this is why I decided just to make it very, very simple. And also I did not have a lot of time um, to make cards. So... I, I really hope this inspires you to do it. It will literally take you 15 minutes to put everything together. Um, the hardest part or the, the most time consuming part, not hardest part, was to print and cut my little bees. So I'm painting two backgrounds red, two backgrounds with black board paint. And then I'm going to paint the other two with pink. And that's going to be my backgrounds for my cards. I was amazed at how striking these little cards looked in the end. And I loved the outcome of it. So I'm mixing in a little bit of white with the pink. And I'm just painting the background. So the backgrounds I cut um, out of watercolor paper. And they're just about a five inches and a quarter. Five and a quarter inch by five and a quarter inch each of them. And um, just for variety, I decided to paint two red, two pink, and two black so that it's not too much the same. Then I also designed these little hearts that I'll show you in the next screenshot. Um, that that is just simple um, cut files that you can use your silhouette or your cricket to cut them out. Um, if you've bought the the bee collection um, and just go to your downloads again I should add it they should be in um, I'm going to re-upload the, the the file so when you download the cut files file there will be um, it will be updated with these little flourishes in it and a couple more things so just go and download them again Okay, so once this is dry, and I'm I'm just going to use my embossing tool, which is permanently plugged in next to my workspace, just to dry them really quick. And uh, I'm always impatient, so it's just nice to have this dry, and also the acrylic paint dries very very easily. So now you will see the four different. Um, designs for the hearts these cut out um, so easy I created them um, and used my silhouette cameo to cut them out with watercolor paper and I did a double cut so there's a little tick box that you can mark that says um, double cut so just click that on the silhouette software and and then it cuts the thick paper really nicely and I'm just adding a little hot glue to the back of these just to secure them permanently on the background. I'm not overthinking it. And as you know, and I actually have a little playlist on my YouTube channel where I just show you how I mass produce things. I love mass, mass production just because um, it, it's really an easy way to get a lot of things done. Um, these cards, uh, a, co a co-worker asked me to make a couple cards for her. So she'll take four and then the other two 
I'll probably give to someone. And then in the next video, I'll show you um, little tag bags that I'm going to make. And those um, bags are for gifts for friends. Okay, so now um, I'm going to add my illustrations. And these six ones, I cut a little bigger. Um, and then for the tag bags, I'm going to use smaller illustrations, just a little bit smaller. I'm also using just a little hot glue and I'm going to add these to that. But before I'm going to add them with hot glue, I'm just going to place a couple of flourishes or embellishments in the back. So, you know my love affair with chipboard um, ephemera. And I, I have so much of it. And I had this extra one from Crate Paper from last year. So I decided just to add um, a little chipboard piece at the back of each of the, but um, not butterflies, bees. And that way it just creates a little bit of a layered effect. And I love layers. So very, very simple, just a little piece of chipboard and then layering it with the B illustration and I'm just going to stick it down with a little bit of hot glue. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to sew these little pages on um, onto just cardstock cards and that way um, you'll see how... Um, you can create a card with it and then it they're going into clear pockets and I love those clear pockets and I've been using them quite a bit um, so it's a lovely way and also on the clear pockets I made tiny little labels um, with the bees and I'm just going to stick it down but I'll show you just in the next um, next clip a video clip so here you can see this is how they're going to look and I'm just going to stitch them onto those cards and then they're going into the pockets so here I've um, sewn them on the on the cards and now I'm just going to place them each in a little clear pocket and then you can see there that I added the tag um, if my camera can focus there's the little tag and then you can write the name of the person that you're giving it to on there and I'm going to do this with all six and I absolutely love them and I love how they came out I love um, the way that the finished look the the clear pockets give them and this is just a perfect way you know to celebrate Valentine and honestly, the easiest cards that you'll ever make. So hopefully um, I inspired you to get working and to get these done. And like I said, the most time consuming part of all of it was just to print and cut the illustrations and to cut the heart flourishes. And um, oh, and just lastly, I used a silhouette um, brand have these sticker sheets that you can print and then you can just um that's what i used on the stickers for the names and the labels okay well thank you so much for watching and uh, i'll see you in the next video where i'm going to show you how to make little tag bags